Notice we're solving this absolute value equation. Well, we have this absolute value isolated and also this one. For this absolute value to equal this absolute value, either this expression inside, 2x minus 3, must equal this expression within the absolute value bars, 4x plus 5, or this expression within, 2x minus 3, must equal the opposite of the other expression. So what we need to do is solve these two linear equations. So let's do so. Let's subtract 4x from both sides just because I have that old habit of moving my variable terms to the left, but it makes no difference. If I subtract 4x from both sides, 2x minus 4x, that's negative 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. And go ahead and write all this down if you need to. For example, the next thing I'll do is add 3 to both sides of the equation. So go ahead and show that step if you need to. If I add 3 to the left side, I have negative 2x. If I add 3 to the right side, I have 5 plus 3, or 8. Then divide both sides by the coefficient of x and I'll have that x is negative 4. And that's one possible solution. Now let's go ahead and look at this linear equation on the right side. Let's go ahead and use the distributive property. That's negative 4x minus 5. And that's what I need to solve. So I will add 4x to both sides. 2x plus 4x is 6x, and if I add 4x to this side, I have simply negative 5 left. Then I will add 3 to both sides. What is negative 5 plus 3? Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, and I'll finish solving by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 6. So here I'll have that x is negative. Go ahead and simplify one third. So what is our solution set? It is the set containing negative 4 and also negative one third. And I'll let you check. Go to the original equation, let x be negative 4 here and here, and a true statement will result. Do the same thing with negative one-third, and then you know you're correct. These are both solutions.